Hello, and welcome to this Time Zero Navigator version 4 tutorial, where today we're going to take a quick look at the various workspaces and how to configure them. To get started, Time Zero launches in either a navigation mode or home planning mode, depending on if you have a GPS connected to the system. In navigation mode, this is what we use for our day-to-day -day navigation. It provides a real-time view of the chart where you can select your chart type, radar overlay, AIS targets, things like that. Has access to our layer tool so we can change the um, orientation of the chart, um, change the day or night mode, switch to 2D or 3D. If we want to do route planning or take a look at tides and current information or weather information, that's where we're going to use our planning workspace. In our planning workspace, you'll see we have this time bar. Uh, I can still center back on the vessel. But this is very effective for, say, building a route because you'll be able to, so if we build a new route here real quick, We also have the ability to display a route and either animate that route by selecting it and hitting play. And with that information, I can turn on the uh, height of the tide or tidal currents as well. And you'll be able to see along the route what the currents are going to do and what the state of the tide will be. We also have the ability in the planning workspace to display the weather. Turn on layers and display weather. You can see that the weather file here is slightly translucent and that indicates that I do not have an up-to-date weather file. That's where our update page comes in. Select the area that you wish to download. and what information you want to download in the resolution and time interval and select download. You'll see the progress bar at the bottom there moving. Once the download is complete you'll get that indication that the download has exceeded and we go back to our planning workspace. Now you can see the weather file is updated with uh, vibrant colors and we can change in the planning workspace uh, what information we want to display as well as animate it. Maybe I want to take a look at uh, whether or not it's going to rain. I can take a look at the cloud cover and precipitation. The additional workspaces are based on what modules you have available and what hardware is connected at the time. For the radar workspace, you have to have the Furuno radar module or the Coden radar module and the radar plugged in and configured. This is where you get control of the radar, gain control, variable range markers, as well as advanced radar control. You can change the range, you can change the orientation from heads up to north up, transmit to standby. In the sounder workspace, this is where you get access to a sounder if you have a Furuno network sounder. The compatible sounders are the DFF1, the BBDS1, the DFF1 UHD, the DFF3, and the internal sounder in a TZ Touch 2. To add a new workspace, click on the Configure Workspace button at the top. And we give you a number of different choices, including dual radar, maybe nav and radar, or nav and sounder. And depending on which workspace you select, you'll get various choices for those configurations. 
You'll notice that you can also switch instead of nav and sounder. I can have a sounder nav which puts the sounder page on the left and the nav page on the right. Additionally, you'll see a workspace for uh, polar and that is with our weather routing module. And this is where you will load your vessel's polar file as well as configure the sail sets. And that's available with the weather routing module. Thanks very much, and we'll see you soon.